do we want to just stick it in right here for the shelf that we're trying to get more for the I'm really lucky that we have a transactional law program because I know that I'm going to be doing corporate work when I graduate. This fall, I'm fortunate to be joining Wiles Boston office, which is heavily focused on private equity work. I would say as a 3L, about half of the classes that I've taken have been really focused on learning how to do the things that I'm going to be doing as a first year associate. The transactional law program is intended to provide students who are interested in practicing in the transactional area with a foundational set of practice skills. I think that's global in the contract and what I'm worried is... So it's very skills focused and getting having students do in the classroom and outside the classroom the types of tasks that they would be doing in practice. Constituting a complete treatment of a specific news story and contract drafting is one of the foundational courses in our transactional law program, so everyone who's doing the concentration will take it. And it's a great opportunity to sort of learn the how and why of contract drafting, why we draft things the way that we do, what the different parts of a contract entail. I, I can see your confusion, but I believe that in the contract, whenever we refer to average segments, we refer to it as in the possessive for her. You really get a sense of sort of how real attorneys do this kind of work. So you do a lot of different types of drafting over the course of the semester, and then it culminates with drafting and negotiating an employment agreement, which is really exciting. I took Professors Goldman and Blankstein's Transactional Simulation Practice Seminar last semester. We spent an entire semester on one case, and the class was broken up into groups. Each side represented the buyer or the seller. My group represented the seller, and she was the sister of the buyer, uh, she jointly owned a corporation that their father previously owned with him and she was willing to give up her part of the um, company and he was interested in buying it. it. Both sides really wanted the deal to happen and it was our job to make it happen, which involved a lot of negotiations, a lot of meetings, emails, communications with both sides. One of the two instructors did this transaction some years ago in his practice. Practical matter, I would say that the, and, and this can be worked out in the least. All these simulations are going to be based on actual transactions that the instructors actually did. The idea is we would continue to find practitioners who would be able to develop and teach these courses in other transactional areas. Example would be commercial real estate, IP licensing, I can't imagine graduating from law school without taking a course like this. You know, I've had the opportunity to sit down with real practitioners at the top of their field in, in really the areas and in the markets that I want to be in and have them review my work. That is an incredibly unique opportunity nowadays. I'm very excited and very proud that BU is already there and kind of really leading the foray into that type of legal, legal education.